Now, I love technology, but what I love more than technology is smart home tech that can save my technology from being stolen. So, let's take a look at a couple products from Samsung as well as Ring, and let's find out if they're worth it. Yo guys, TSP here from TSP Tech. It's been a minute, but I'm back. And here we have two types of products. We have the Ring Video Doorbell, as well as some Samsung SmartThings products. So what I wanna first start off is with the Ring device. So this is the Ring Video Doorbell. It's version 1.0, and you can find it for around 99 US dollars, which is pretty affordable in my opinion. It has a 720p HD wide angle camera, as well as a motion sensor, and you can configure everything within the Ring app to decide how far you want the motion sensor to detect you and how frequently you want it to send you notifications. There's two-way communication so you can talk to the person or intruder and or you can just tell your mailman, hey, I'm out right now, leave the deliveries in the back. It works with iOS, Android and Windows and works with your home Wi-Fi network. You can replace your existing doorbell or you can have it as a standalone doorbell. So let's take a look, see what you get. So inside the box, you actually get the ring doorbell itself as well as some tools to help you install it. So here is the doorbell itself. So you can see this is the Ring Video Doorbell. And inside we have a quick start guide, as well as all the necessary tools, such as a screwdriver, a leveler. So this thing will help you level your doorbell, a drill bit, and some other accessories that will help you install the Ring Video Doorbell. So I've already have it connected, set up with my phone. Let's take a look and see how it works. I've got my phone here as well as the Ring Video Doorbell. So if we hop into the Ring app, you can see here is my door and uh, I can check, take a look at all the events that have happened, such as motion detected and everything like that. I can see if I wanna turn on or off my alerts and I can even get a live view of what is the camera is picking up right now. So as you can see, this is the camera and that's what it's picking up. If my phone is off and the ring detects motion, you will get a notification saying there is motion at your front door and you can hop in and take a look at the live feed. There is also two-way communication. So you can either pick up and answer the call if you'd like. So if I pick up, uh, hey, what's up? Uh, and if someone was at your door, they would have to turn, press the button, so if they hit the doorbell, you get that sound. Oh, there it is, someone's at your front door. I click it, I can get a live feed of what is at my front door, what it is seeing right now. So this is what the ring is seeing currently. And if I wanna answer, I can click answer or just decline. Now personally what I did was I went ahead and installed the app on everyone's phone that's living in my house, so currently my parents, myself, my brother, and so when, any, when anyone rings the doorbell, they will get a notification, they'll be able to answer and take a look. So overall, this is a great product and I'll update you guys once everything is set up. All right, so a couple days later, we have the Ring fully installed outside of our home. So this is the Ring video doorbell, as you can see. We hooked it on to our brick, separate from our existing doorbell down here. And how it works is you walk up, first of all, you see the camera right here. You walk up, you press the button, it sends off a sound as well, and I should get a notification on my phone. Yes, someone is at the front door. We can get a live view of what's going on right behind me. So, as you can see, that's the camera. Yeah. Me? No, I'm just, I'm just filming something. Okay. Okay. And yeah, it works pretty flawlessly, and I'm kind of happy we got it installed. And uh, if you guys ever need a video doorbell, it's going for $99 and I'll leave links down below. But now let's move on to the Samsung SmartThings products. So that was the ring. Let's take a look at the Samsung products. So inside this Amazon box, we have three things. We have a Samsung hub, SmartThings hub. And one, two, three multi-purpose sensors. So first, let's take a look at the Samsung hub itself. Unboxing it, oh, I wish I had a knife. Here it is, the Samsung SmartThings Hub. Now the reason we picked up the Hub is so we can add these multi-purpose contact sensors. So this can be used as a, maybe a door um, to check if someone opened a door or not. So when it separates, they'll send an alarm or even vibration, it catches a vibration as well as tilt. So it's not just your average door sensor, um, it does much more than that. So inside, welcome to your multi-purpose sensor. 
We have the contact sensor itself, which is magnetic, as you can see. We've got some 3M tape at the back. And that's pretty much it that's inside the box, nothing else. So let's get this set up and show you. All right, so now we're inside and we got the SmartThings Hub all set up. And what it does is it's gonna to talk to all the sensors that we unboxed. And basically it's gonna talk back to my phone and let me know whenever a door or a sensor has been triggered. And these are the actual door sensors. As you can see, there's two parts to it. There's a little part and then there's a big part. They're magnetic, so whenever they get separated, I get a notification on my phone and whenever they're closed, I also get a notification on my phone. And there you go. These products right here will hopefully help me keep my house secure of intruders. And even if it does happen, I'll even get alerts on my phone. Even when I'm in halfway across the world in somewhere like Hawaii, I'll still get notifications and I can check in on activity that's going around in and out of my house. So that is how to make sure your tech stays secure with tech. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, drop a sub if you enjoyed. I promise there'll be new videos to come. Thanks for watching. This is TSP. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. I can't reach the camera. I'm just gonna walk away from the frame. Pretend nothing ever happened. All right, bye.